Hi guys, I'm Krina and welcome to my channel. As you can tell from my last video that I did start my own business and ever since I started this venture, I wanted it to be as eco-friendly and as sustainable as possible. And this video is going to be just about that. So today I'll show you exactly what I use to package my product. And in the end, I'll also show you how I ship it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. One of the first and most important things that I actually needed was tissue paper and I found No Issue to be the best brand for that so I got all my papers printed by No Issue and I'm pretty fluent with Photoshop but in case you're not and you do want to customize your tissue paper they do have a design team which will help you with designing it as well. So as for my paper, I got my brand name printed all over this really nice blush pink background and I am in love with it. As for the size, I got the biggest size possible and since my products are pretty tiny, I usually end up cutting these into smaller pieces and that's how I use them so it's eco-friendly and cost-effective as well. I got my stickers customized and I got them printed from No Issue as well and I chose the biggest size that they had which was the 10 cm square and I designed four tiny stickers in one sticker which is amazing because it can really help you save some money so let me show you how I did that. So I took a cutter and cut off the stickers in the top row so I got four tiny squares out of that and usually I just put this at the outer side of the mailer and I'll show you exactly where I use this sticker at the end of this video. So basically I ended up with two different colors in this style, one with a blush pink background and one with a white background. Now the stickers in the bottom row will be round and in order to do that I got this round hole punch from Amazon which I'll link in the description box as well. So all I have to do is put the sticker sheet in this hole punch and I get tiny little round stickers with this. Now I have a bunch of thank you stickers as well as handmade with love by Cree stickers as well. I hope you found this hack interesting because you can save some money when you're designing your own stickers as well. Just remember to make four to five stickers in one really big sticker and then just cut tiny pieces out of it. As for stamps, I got two different stamps from No Issue as well. First one is a wooden rubber stamp and the best part is that it comes with a soy based ink which will help make the stamp last longer and I absolutely love how it gives a very crisp and defined print and I absolutely love how simple and minimal it is. For the second stamp, I got a self ink stamp so I don't need a separate ink pad for this and as for the design, I wanted it to be super cost effective so this is what I did. I got the same print that I used for my round stickers made as a stamp. So when I do run out of stickers, I can just stamp this print on a plain sticker sheet and cut out my own stickers. So now I have a lifetime supply of stickers just with this one stamp. Once again, I found this to be a great hack to save some money on customized stickers. When you are shipping a product, it is very important to add a thank you card because it adds a personalized element to any package. So I got some handmade paper and I cut them out into 3 by 5 inch pieces. And then I just took my wooden stamp and I just stamped my logo and contact details on one side. And on the other side, I just wrote a cute little handwritten note. I had even gone out of my way to paint the corners of the card to add some color but I just did not love how it looked so now I just keep it very simple and minimal. So I don't add a tag to all the products that I sell directly to a customer. This is mainly just for my wholesale orders when I'm selling to a different business and my products are available at multiple stores in Canada. So when my products are at that store and anybody walks into that store, I personally feel it's important for them to know where this product is coming from. So I cut a 5cm by 2.5cm rectangular piece and I just use my wooden stamp to stamp it and then I flip it over and I reshuffle them to stamp it once again just like this. I got this heart shaped cutter from Michaels and I make a small hole on one side and then I just take a very thin piece of cord and I put it through this hole and that's it. I just tie this to my product. This is a perfect way to add branding to my products and I also get multiple uses out of my stamp. 
So I have decided to ship my products in these mailers that I got from No Issue. The best thing is that these mailers are compostable, so it does not harm the environment and they're also reusable as well. So after I put my product inside it, I remove this white strip that is attached on the edge of the mailer and then I just seal this package and I ship it. Now once the customer receives this package, all they have to do is just cut along this line that says reuse me and they'll be able to remove the parcel. Now when they do want to reuse this mailer, all they have to do is put the parcel back inside this package and then use the second white strip and seal the package. Isn't it amazing how this mailer is compostable and reusable? So when I ship my products to my customer, I usually just handwrite their name and address on a sticker. So I bought this sticker sheet from Amazon and then I just cut them up into tiny little pieces and this is all I use. Now to show you the final process of how I actually ship my products, I'm just going to play this video with music because I feel like I've spoken way too much. So I'm going to stop talking now and you can enjoy. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch up. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new today. And do let me know which part of this entire video was your favorite in the comment section below. I have also linked my website and my business Instagram page in the description box as well. Please follow my business page on Instagram because every like, every share, every comment, every follow really means a lot to me. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more videos just like this. Take care of yourself and you will see me very soon in my next video. Bye!